here down in the RC corner. Thanks again for tuning in. And uh, this episode, we're just not even going to do a flying video. Back, uh, I think before Christmas, I did a unboxing video, the Furby H108. Uh, I got this thing already plugged in and bound up. Uh, it's an FPV, um, tiny whoop type style thing, as you can see. And it's uh, FPV through Wi Fi. So. I got my uh, Samsung S5 here. I'm decommissioning it as my phone. It's just working as like an Android device. It's got great Wi-Fi. It's been a great phone for over the years, and it's a very popular common phone. And we'll talk about that in a second. Um, let's just get it right out of the way. This thing, I'm extremely disappointed in, and uh, it's probably going to find its way in the garbage. <laughs> Simply put, uh, you get a cheesy little mount thing here. It goes on the back. Uh, it stays on, not too bad. I'll put it back in. Okay, it's clicked in. This mounting clip, uh, you have a thumb screw here that you loosen, and you can adjust this. And it's kind of like I'm one of those uh, ribbed things that you can adjust. You put your phone in it, and you tighten it down as much as you can, and then you tighten it. And I've never really been able to get my phone tight. Like you can shake it. The phone moves quite easily. I'm, I'm on, I don't think it would fall out. But if I ever had to quickly put something down or something jarred into me, which is probably very extremely rare though, but I'm, I'm afraid that this phone would come out. It just, <laughs> you shouldn't be able to do it this easily. There should have been like a little lip here or something. Um... But that's not my major gripe with this uh, drone. My major gripe is this. It's bound. It's ready to go. So we can go, uh, I'll just, you can see. Right. It's all good that way. So we know this thing is good to go. Now... Let's go into the phone. Yes, thank you. Tell me about the waterproof cover. We're going to go to the Furby app. I hope you guys can see this. I know there's reflections and glare. I'll try and cover as best as I can here. And I hit connect. And I got, oops, sorry. App isn't working. So just so you, you know that I have already connected it to the Wi-Fi. It's connected to UAV 1D 9836. It's already connected to the Wi Fi and the app crashes. Now, the app is crashing on an Android Samsung S5. Who can trust this app on anything? Uh, I don't know what to say. Um, it still flies, it's a tiny whoop type flyer, but I got one set like this without a camera. We got the Ishin. Uh, E012, it's, it's flies even better, $13. I know this is, I have an FPV, I want to do Wi-Fi FPV just to test it out. So I don't have to charge the goggles and get all these things all ready and break them all out. Phone's handy, this is handy, charge it up, away you go. No camera. Highly disappointing, small controller, crappy phone mount I can live with that uh, maybe if I put my iPhone 5c on here but I don't want to use my iPhone IC 5c that I've also decommissioned and not everybody has these options and I think Android is becoming more popular it's the easy choice the app installed fine it just doesn't work with this thing so piece of junk <laughs> PLS guys total thumbs down avoid this I think this was about 30 bucks on GearBest. I'm not blaming GearBest for this. It's just a piece of garbage because the app doesn't work. And um, I can't recommend this to anybody. Um, it's really not worth flying around. I already have the Furby H36, I think. They, the ones without the camera, they fly just fine. Uh, this one, the camera doesn't work. You can always take the battery out of it, I guess. Whatever. I know you could probably mod it, make it work. I'm not going to spend a dime on this more. It's probably going to find its way in the garbage can, strip out the propellers. 
maybe the LED lights and parts, whatever. So guys, thumbs down. Um, had a little bit of hopes of this to show you guys how this one worked, but I can't even do that. Again, thanks for tuning in. Not everything is thumbs up. Sometimes you get things that are thumbs down. Hope you like this video. If you made it this far for this piece of garbage, I hope to catch you soon on the next one. I got a, a small little indoor truck coming for winter fun, and I'm going to do some other videos, hopefully uh, based on other things other than uh, RC for some winter indoor fun. Maybe you guys might be into something else like that too. So wrap it up here, guys. Thanks for tuning in again. Hope to catch you on the next one. All right, peace out. Take care.